Okay, so hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks video. This one's going to be a little bit different to normal. I'm going to show you how to build an engine, or an advanced engine I should say. I know there's a few tutorials on how to actually do this, but I figured I'd go ahead and build one, or make one anyway. Um, all of the engines are pretty much work the same way. Um, uh, however, one of them does have two exhausts and some of them don't have two exhausts. That's pretty much the only difference, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this and um, I'll show you guys how they work. Hey! Okay, so that's not the only difference. They all output like different amount of power and stuff. I believe the aircraft carrier, the aircraft carrier, I believe the aircraft engine is the uh, the fastest one. Uh, so if you want a fast thing, go ahead and get one of those. And um, yeah, they all have different power outputs. So you guys can see right here, this is the power output right there, 200,000 powers. I'm not sure what that's measured in, so there you go. Uh, this one's only 20,000 powers, and this one I believe is 60,000 powers. Yes, it is. Uh, so there you go. Oh wow, it shows you down here. So it needs power, air, Coolant out, exhaust, it needs fuel, needs coolant in, it needs, well, needs an exhaust again, because it does two exhausts, and then it needs electricity, so uh, that's quite cool that it shows you what they need. Uh, but I'm going to show you what you actually need to put on these things. So you can connect pipes to every single hole on the end of each of these. So we got this hole right here is the power, that's exactly where the, um, the propellers will go, so it's either plane propellers, or wheels, or uh, boat propellers, they go on the end of this. Alright, cool. Down here we got air. Now on the air outlet, you can either put a air intake, a fluid intake, or you can put a fluid port. It doesn't matter which one you use, uh, both work exactly the same. Alright, cool. If we go around the back, we've got fuel intake right here, so you can put a fuel tank on the back of there. Um, basically, you just you just put a fuel tank down, um, and then you link it up using pipes. And that's, that's literally all you have to do. Uh, and I will show you guys how to do this. So we'll, we'll actually connect one of these together, uh, but they all work pretty much the same way. So we've got a large fuel tank right here. You can put it anywhere on your ship, anywhere on your plane. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that right there. All right, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some pipes and we'll pipe everything together, but we'll do that afterwards. So we need some of these ones, some of these ones, and that's all good. Uh, then we need to work on coolant. Now coolant, I don't know if you could just type in cool. No, uh, you can either use a heat sink or you can use a heat radiator. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Apparently the heat sink is a little bit better, um, but there you go. It doesn't really matter which one you use. So we're gonna use the radiator for now. That's good. We can just go ahead and place that wherever we want. So we'll place it right there. All right, fan dabby dozy, that's good. Uh, then what you wanna do is you wanna have a little look, see what else we need. So we got the coolant, we got the coolant, we got an exhaust right there, and we got an exhaust right here. Now one thing that you can do with the exhausts is you can attach them both together because um, there's no reason not to, to be totally honest with you. Uh, you can just go ahead and do this, and then you can go ahead and do this, and uh, everything will work out A-OK, -okay because, um, yeah, there you go. All of your exhaust will come out of here. Now, if you're wondering how the exhaust works, you can either put one of these on there, you can put one of these on there, or you can put one of these, which is an exhaust pipe, okay? So that's how those work. Um, so we'll go ahead and fix this together. We'll go ahead and put an exhaust on there. All right, cool, good. Then we'll connect everything together using pipes. So obviously the fuel needs to be connected to the engine, so we go ahead and we do this. Alright, there we go. Uh, the coolant needs to be attached to the engine. You, it doesn't really matter which way they go on. So um, if you're putting coolant on an engine, you just go ahead and turn this around. Put that there. You put another one over there, and you attach it to the coolant bit of the engine. So there we go. Beautiful. We'll turn this around, and we'll put it there as well. Fantastic. That's the whole back end of it done. Now you can have these pretty much anywhere on the plane, however, um, this bit right here, the fuel tank, I think that it needs a pump if it's any longer than 10 tiles away, um, or maybe that's in height. If you're going up 10 tiles from the fuel tank, then you'll need a pump. Uh, so there you go. You don't need a pump otherwise, so there you go. Nice. The air inlet on the front, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use one of these, and we're just going to shove this down on here, like so. Beautiful. All right, that looks kind of cool, actually. That looks really cool. And then on the front of this thing, just as a demonstration, we're going to go ahead and get a propeller. And um, I don't know which propeller we should use, to be totally honest with you. Uh, but maybe a small one will do. So let's just go ahead and get one of these, and we'll show that it works. All right, cool. Good. So that's a engine fully built. All right, now what we need to do is we need some buttons, and we need a throttle. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get a throttle, and we'll go ahead and put this here. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get two of them. And we'll go ahead and get some buttons as well. Okay, there is one thing that I've missed out here, and that is the gear ratios. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the gear ratios work myself, I'm going to be honest. Uh, however, I have made things work by doing this. So if we go ahead and we delete this, 
from the power output, you want to go ahead and put a clutch, okay? Once we get a clutch in, um, we can go ahead and we can add a gearbox. All right, so we go ahead and get a gearbox. Now, a lot of people have been telling me that the best power output is by turning this thing around and pointing it into itself, uh, which is very strange, but um, if it works, it works. So we'll go ahead and we'll try... We yeah, need some blocks. We need, a, we need an actual block. All right, there we go. Uh, and we're going to put the blocks underneath here. We need to put these, or one of these, on here. Wait, how have I missed by that much? I've missed... Oh, wow. Okay, right, hold on. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. We need to put one of these pointing into that thing, and that's how it works. All right, and then we go ahead and we put this here. Good. Then you then you can go into the select tool. You can click on this, and you can be like, I want the ratio to be 1 to 3. Uh, and that means you put in 1 powers, and it comes out as 3 powers, I guess. Sure. Let's go with that. Max IPS. I believe with the coolant on there, you can actually up that to 100, so that's good. Um, and you can actually label everything if you go ahead and label it right here. Uh, so that's a thing right there. That's good. All right, cool. That's our fuel tank. That's our engine. That's our gearbox. These are our buttons. All right, now we need a battery. Okay, so you can use any battery. doesn't really matter. Uh, and in fact, actually, if you want to get some power out of your engine as well, you go ahead and you put a generator. So we get a generator. And you can go ahead and put one of these on there. Um, and when I say on there, it needs to be connected via a pipe, as you guys can see on the end of there. We need a pipe to that thing. So, um, yeah, we can extend this a little bit like this. All right, so we go ahead and we do this. Okay, you can go ahead and you can do it either before or after the gears. I do think it matters, but we'll see. Um, we can go ahead and put that there. Good. Then we can go ahead and put that there. And we could put this, um, the propeller, if we can find the propeller, on the end. All right, so on here. Beautiful. All right, one to three, please. There we go. Nicely done. One to three. 100 RPS. That's good. And uh, we got the buttons. All right, nice. Now we're going to need to put the battery down, which we have. And everything needs power. Okay, so this needs power. This needs power. This needs power. All of these guys needs power. And uh, we're all good. All right, cool. Good. Then we need to logicify everything together. So the clutches, I mean, the gear works like this. The clutch works. Oh, I didn't even put a clutch in there. Oh, I'm so dumb. All right, hold on. Hold on. We need to put a clutch in. Oh, man. Why am I messing this up so much? Uh, but yeah, we need to put a clutch in there uh, after the T-pipe. Then we go ahead and we put one of these in. All right, which is uh, A-OK, -okay, if I can actually make it fit. Ignore that. Uh, right, OK, we're going to just use it as a block. That's what I'm using it as, OK? There we go. Put that on there. Then go ahead and put this on here. There we go. Beautiful. Delete this. That's good. Logic, we need this to go to a button, OK? We need this to go to a, a lever. We need this to go to a lever. And we need this to go to a button as well. All right, cool. We can actually delete this button here. Uh, right, okay, now we need to select this again because I keep replacing it and we'll make it one to three and we are ready to go I believe um, As long as it's got power which indeed it doesn't but now it does. All right, cool Let's go ahead and put this in Okay, so I'll try and explain the way this works Basically the propeller won't spin unless your clutch is in so let's go ahead and do this Okay, we don't need to do that actually you do need to provide some power and then your engine will work there we go, good. Now you'll notice that the engine is fully spinning up. However, the propeller isn't spinning. And that's because we don't have our clutch in. But when you put the clutch in, it should start spinning and um, it works. So there you go. That is one engine that is working right there. Beautiful. beautiful -y. And in fact, I wish I could build things like this uh, more regularly. But um, yeah, never mind. Uh, but pretty much it works exactly the same way on this engine as it will on this engine. And it will on this engine. So... Uh, that's the thing for all of you guys. Wow. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it actually works and um, you guys can now build advanced engines. Because, I mean, it's really simple at the end of the day. Uh, once you know what you're doing, it, it is very simple. Um, anyway, I hope this helped somebody out, at least. Maybe one person. That would be great. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.